Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here, and welcome back to another random match here on WWE 2K16. Now, this is an odd one, this, because I've realised I am a big CM Punk fan, but I've not actually used him, I don't think, at all in this game. I've just downloaded his Creator to Wrestler right now, after spending about an hour deleting logos, because I've got too many, apparently. And we're going to start off things with CM Punk versus Shinsuke Nakamura in our match that I would have loved to have seen in real life. Of course, I don't think it's going to happen now, obviously, because Punk leaving WWE... Will he ever return? That one's up in the air at the moment. I still fancy there's a chance he might at some point, but I would like to guarantee it. And Nakamura's going to have so many fantastic matches in WWE. As you can probably tell by the amount of random matches I've done for Nakamura, I'm very excited to see him next Friday take over Dallas. Nakamura versus Sami Zayn. What a match that is going to be. And a little announcement right now while I'm here. What I'm going to do next weekend is we are going to, on the Friday, I'm going to try and pre-record all these. I'm going to upload every single match from NXT TakeOver on, of course, WWE 2K16. I've downloaded all the wrestlers already, so I'm going to try and create all of the matches and uh, get them all uploaded. Probably try and do one an hour. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, then... Uh, Obviously, keep an eye out on this channel. I'm also going to do the same thing for WrestleMania as well. I'm going to pre-record every single match as a random match. And I'm going to get it all uploaded on Sunday. Just to try and help you guys get even more excited for what is going to happen. And of course, it's going to be... I'm, I'm looking forward to the NXT one, I think, more to tell the truth. We've got Austin Aries versus Baron Corbin. We've got The Revival versus American Alpha. Apollo Crews versus Elias Sampson. Sami Zayn versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Bailey versus Asuka. And, of course, Finn Balor versus Samoa Joe, which I've already done a few days ago as a random match. But we will do it again for the NXT Championship at an NXT Dallas TakeOver arena I've downloaded off the Community Creations. It's going to be pretty good, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. That will happen next Friday. Like I said, everything should be uploaded um, probably between, say, 3 and 10, maybe, 3 and 11. And we'll get all the matches uploaded. I'm going to be staying up to watch NXT TakeOver. I'm sure a lot of you will as well. It's going to be fantastic. I'm looking forward to NXT, I think, more than Mania. But enough about that. So let's have a look at the match we've got set for you here this evening. And two heavy hitters, really. This is going to be a fantastic match between these two. I, I, I really hope... Actually, going off another tangent. I really hope that Nakamura has debuted early enough to be on 2K17. If 2K have got their mind in this and they're really taking this game seriously they would have had him scanned already he's been in america quite a few times already he's been there obviously at nxt been learning a few things he's been over and done all of his medical checks even earlier so there's been enough time for 2k to organize a scan and i really hope they have done that because that would just make a lot more sense obviously aj styles as well and if they were smart enough they would have done anderson and gallows as well i'm hoping we get a much bigger nxt roster next year as well so that's going to be something to keep an eye out for but this match, yeah, like I was saying, this match is going to be really good. I think two guys, heavy hitters, both good on their strikes. Both very, very talented wrestlers. Well, this CM Punk core is very good, actually, I must say. Nakamura sending Punk over the top. And straight away, Nakamura taking control, sending Punk to the outside. And this fight is going outside already. So what I was saying about doing the WrestleMania matches next week, of course, I can only do them as per the constraints of the game. Therefore... New Day versus oh, Punk landing Nakamura straight in his back on the outside. So basically, yeah, New Day versus the League of Nations will be a six-man tag rather than a four and three. Um, the 20-man Andre Battle Royal, or 30-man, I'm not sure. I've, I've heard rumors it's going to be 20 this year. That will obviously be done as a Royal Rumble. Then we're going to have um, the seven-man ladder match. is going to have to be a six-man Money in the Bank ladder match. So as I say, we'll, we'll, we'll run through the constraints of the game as well, but... I think still, I think we're going to have some pretty damn good matches. Nakamura now catches CM Punk with that German suplex. Beautiful move. Now Nakamura stalking Punk. Went for the overhand club to the back, but Punk with a big kick. Went for a slap almost, but Nakamura managed to avoid it. And there, with a code breaker. Well, both these guys use a knee as well as their finishing move. Of course, CM Punk uses the GTS and drop in the head of his opponent into the knee and of course uh, Nakamura with a bomayi I can never probably say it. I can never say it properly the bomayi I should know because I've been wearing a Nakamura shirt today 
Butterfly suplex there by Nakamura. I think that's one of his signature moves, though. Isn't it? And I wonder how long Nakamura will be in NXT for. Of course, he's making his debut at NXT TakeOver Dallas, taking on Sami Zayn. How long will he be in NXT? From the rumours I've heard, he's on a lot more money than anyone else in NXT. He's on more money than some of the guys on the main roster. So I can't imagine he'll be down there for too long. Maybe just enough for him to learn the positioning of the hard cameras and stuff like that in WWE and maybe pick up a little bit more of the English language. But I don't think it holds people back too much because Itami's not the strongest English speaker. Um, Aske as well, not the strongest English speaker. But I don't think that they need it, especially in NXT. They're getting over so well. And uh, yeah, I, I would be surprised if Nakamura stays down there too long. Or if he, that could just be literally his one-off match. They, they may, may have just wanted to have him involved in the WrestleMania weekend, but couldn't find a place for him on the Mania pay-per-view, so they put him in against Sami Zayn at TakeOver. If what I hope is going to happen does happen, and we have a roster split after WrestleMania, going back to having the two brands, which I really want to happen, and things are happening recently that, that sort of coincide with that happening as well. If that does happen, then it would not surprise me if Nakamura is part of the draft and uh, makes his way up to the main roster straight away. We'll have to wait and see what happens. I desperately want to see the roster split come back because it would just make SmackDown a proper show again. We'll have two different shows, and if you're not happy with what's happening on Raw, you're a bit bored of the storylines, then you can always watch SmackDown instead, and vice versa. From what I've seen... Well, the, the thing that makes me bring it up is because I've, I've read a couple of days ago that it looks like the uh, WWE merchandising or marketing department have been told to make two separate um, openings for Raw and SmackDown. That's the... Uh, oh, I forgot what that's called now. The Koji... That's not the Koji Koji, is it? Oh, I forgot what that's called now. Anyway, yeah, the um, there's two separate openings been recorded. One for Raw, one for SmackDown. Raw showcases uh, John Cena, showcases... Um, Kevin Owens, um, Nikki Bella, uh, and Charlotte as well. Oh, CM Punk catching Nakamura, takes him up onto his shoulders. That's the GTS. Oh, but Nakamura straight back up. I thought Punk would have won the match there and then. And then a little blue thunder bomb as well to. I thought he was going to go for the pin once again, but I think Nakamura was too close to the ropes. Yeah, and there's also been a separate entrance to SmackDown recorded with. Um, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Paige, and The New Day. So the fact they're completely different and John Cena does not. I would have thought of Cena and Roman Reigns are their two main guys. It's Nakamura goes to the pin. Only for a two count. Yeah, I would have thought if Cena and Reigns are WWE's two main guys, they would have been on both the Raw and the SmackDown openings. But to have Cena just on Raw and Reigns just on SmackDown makes me think that they are going to do a roster split and Cena and Reigns will be split across the two shows. And I really hope that does happen because there's so many guys I really want to see do well in WWE, but they're not getting the time because it's just the same guys in Raw and SmackDown always being given the uh, the main parts of the card. So to split it up into two separate shows would be absolutely fantastic, and I hope WWE do that. I've got a feeling it could have something to do with the Shane McMahon storyline with The Undertaker. So, uh, yeah, I hope that's what I'm hoping to happen. Let me, let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see. Would you like to see WWE bring back the roster split, or would you like to leave it continue on the way it is? I personally want to see the roster split. Oh, big spike DDT by CM Punk. And Nakamura is really starting to struggle now. Punk rolls Nakamura over. Double foot stomp to the gut. And Nakamura is actually been busted open as well. That must have been that DDT. And a big kick to the chest there by Punk. And Punk's going up top. We know he likes to use the Randy Savage elbow from the top. And here he goes. There it is. CM Punk has... Surely got this match now. He's already hit a GTS and there's that big elbow drop from the top. Is that going to be enough? It's not. Nakamura kicks out on the brink of three. It's insane. Sitting in my chair. My chair's really squeaky. Now I've got a promotion at work. I can probably afford to get a new computer chair. I bought this one for four pounds from a charity shop, so I can probably afford to get a new one. Nakamura there with a the clothesline. And Nakamura doesn't know what to do. He's going up to the top rope now. CM Punk is quite a far distance away from Nakamura. What does he have planned here? Changes his mind as CM Punk makes his way back up to his feet. Probably the wise thing to do there by Nakamura. Nakamura now with the, the awful waffle. Used by, uh, by Chuck Taylor on the indie scene. Of course, also used by Gail Kim 
the eat defeat. I'd prefer the Chuck Taylor version of the double team. Headbutt to the back of the head by Van Nakamura. Must be in pain, Nakamura. He's bleeding from that forehead. And then to, to go and hit a, a headbutt as well is a, is a uh, pretty crazy move there by Nakamura. He now brings CM Punk out and takes him up into the top turnbuckle. What does Nakamura have planned here? Sends Punk's legs over the top. Is he looking potentially for a superplex? He is. They're both up on the top. Nakamura, super falcon arrow. Nakamura going for the pin. That could be all one, two. It's only enough for a two count. Nakamura can't believe it. He thought he had that one. Both guys slowly back up to their feet. Nakamura avoiding the kick to the gut, but Punk does catch him into a neck breaker. Punk now, what's he got? He's got both the legs. And a big kick to the gut of Nakamura. Bringing Nakamura back up to his feet. Punk takes him up. What a pile driver. Something you don't see in WWE anymore. A big pile driver. Used to be a very, very common move back in the 80s, but too dangerous now, deemed by WWE. Punk willing. Nakamura back up to his feet. He has him up. There's the GTS. And surely that one is going to be enough for CM Punk to pick up the victory. One. Two and what? What on earth? Punk can't believe it. Nakamura is almost like a dead weight still in the middle of the ring. I apologise you can hear all the traffic in the background. It's a pretty warm day, so I've opened the window and there's some pretty loud cars going past. Punk now with a big kick to the gut of Nakamura. Brings him back up to his feet. Send him into the corner. How is Nakamura still even going right now? He's been caught by two GTS and that big elbow as well. CM Punk with a German suplex. Rolling Nakamura over. And looks like he's going to go up top once again, but Nakamura slowly getting back up to his feet. Well, he's crawling towards the ropes anyway. Punk decides against whatever move he was going to go for and looks to continue the assault on Nakamura. CM Punk now a backbreaker. In for the pin. One, two. Still in there for a two count. Punk now tried to bring Nakamura back up to see, but Nakamura must have been playing possum. Caught Punk for the, the roundhouse to the, the gut and now spinning around that neck breaker. Nakamura used his knee again and talking to the knee. Nakamura looks to be lining. CM Punk up, maybe that bomb E90. There it is. Nakamura struggling to capitalize on the damage done though. Took a lot of energy out of himself. He's got to go for the pin, surely. Finally does roll CM Punk, but has he left it too long? One, two. Yes, he has just left it too long. Punk with just enough left in the tank to kick out. And what a match this has been by these two guys. Again, Nakamura with another headbutt. He doesn't care that he's bleeding at all, does he, Nakamura? Nakamura now stamping on the side of the face of CM Punk. Vicious move. Nakamura bringing Punk back up to his feet. Punk with the boots of the gut of Nakamura now catches him in the front chancery. There's the snap there, and then the big boot to the back of, of Nakamura. Now CM Punk again going up top. Is he looking for another elbow drop, maybe? He is. And he hits it. And surely there's no way Nakamura is getting up again. Surely that's going to be the three count. One, two, and... Oh, you know what? I give up. How, how on earth is Nakamura kicked out of this? This match has got so many false finishes, it's unbelievable. A snap made by Punk. Nakamura with a punch the gut of CM Punk. Sending Punk into the corner. See, I always thought there was a chance this match happening, but when CM Punk left WWE, I had this slight feeling that he would go to NJPW. 
course, he went down the UFC route instead. Well, I say he's gone down there. He's not actually uh, had a match or anything yet. Nakamura with the pin. Going up for a two count. Both guys slowly back up to their feet. The match really taking a toll on both of them. It's been a long match. We're, uh, I don't think uh, many of my random matches have gone this far. I think normally the uh, the random matches probably last about, including the entrance, probably about 13 minutes. This one's up to 15 and a half already. Nakamura now taking CM Punk up onto the top turnbuckle. What does he have planned here? He's going to go for a super backdrop. That's going to take a lot out of Punk, and that could be all. One, two, and no, Punk kicks out as well. Nakamura, he can't believe it now either. Both these guys have just been incredible resilient in this match. Punk spinning Nakamura around. That reverse DDT onto the knee. Almost like a combination Scorpion Death Drop Backbreaker. Punk now the big kicks the face of Nakamura. You see the blood still streaming down the face of Nakamura. And every ounce of blood that drips out of Nakamura's body is just going to make it more difficult for him. Punk takes him up and good night Nakamura. Surely, 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 surely he's not going to kick out again. And he does not. You see the blood from Nakamura all over his chest now as well. CM Punk does pick up the victory. And what a match this has been, of course. Like I said, we'll probably see a few CM Punk matches this week. I've got, um... Well, I don't want to ruin it for you. Well, I do want to ruin it for you. I've got Daniel Bryan versus CM Punk listed down as well as Samoa Joe versus CM Punk, of course. Those legendary matches which took place about 10 years ago now in Ring of Honor. Incredible hour-long draws between Joe and Punk. So, uh, yeah, looking to do some of them as well. Also got Ares versus Zayn and Baron Corbin versus The Undertaker. A bit of a random one to have a look at. So yeah, there's a few random matches, of course. If you guys want to see any random matches, let me know in the comment section below. I will list them all down. I will get them all done eventually for you. Um, at the moment, like I say, I'm concentrating on trying to get as many of the uh, the TakeOver and WrestleMania random matches recorded as possible before they actual happen, um, which is why I've not really touched a lot of your guys at the moment. I'm just uh, trying to get a few videos uploaded to get between then and now, and then of course, we'll have all the TakeOver matches and uh, all the WrestleMania matches next weekend for you. As soon as WrestleMania is done, we'll probably have a look and see what happens on the Monday Night Raw. See if we have any big returns, any big NXT debuts. And then we might be able to look at some uh, random matches as well. Uh, let me know what you want to see, of course. Like I said, I'm up for doing any random matches, even after I download a few extra wrestlers. Um, which is a bit more difficult now they've brought in this whole logo cap thing so uh, yeah let me know in the comment section below if you want to see anything and of course if you have enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button of course always here also hit the like button as well if you'd love to see this match in real life and for these two fantastic created wrestlers as well and of course if you are new around here be sure to subscribe for a lot more WWE 2K16 footage as well as little bits and bobs on my channel which I hope to be starting up soon as well I've been Shabby Gamer thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time Thank <laughs> you.